Um, in this example, in the example, ladies and gentlemen, basically what we're doing is we're multiplying powers. Um, Tyler, put that away, please. Thank you. So when we're going through powers, the main important thing, or especially when we're multiplying exponents, I'm sorry, uh, we need to make sure that we add the powers. So when you have an example like this, you guys can see they have the same basis. If you guys remember, we went, already gone over the product property. What the product property states, Blake, what the product property states is that when you multiply two exponents with the same base, you add the powers. So basically, this just can be rewritten as 3 to the 3 fourths plus 1 third. However, now, ladies and gentlemen, we do have fractions that we do need to remember how to add. So. I've been leaving this up for every single one of these videos. This has not been erased. When there is not, when you have a parenthesis next to another parenthesis, the pro, that's going to represent the product. Okay, I, I understand. Um, no, what I actually wanted you guys to do was apply multiplication for this problem. Okay? So. Guys, I'm really getting to that tipping point. Please stop talking as I'm going over this. So now we're going to take 3, and we're going to add the powers. So in this case, though, we need to be able to um, apply our LCD. So we see the LCD of uh, 4 and 3 is going to be 3 over 3 and 4 over 4. We're going to do that at the end. Um, you can do that. If you did that, you would have the fourth root of 3 cubed times cube root of 3 to the first power. But the problem right here is we can't multiply. If you guys remember what we did last class period, is you can't multiply two different radicals if the roots aren't the same. So what we're going to do is we can multiply them when the bases are the same for exponents. So we're going to multiply them first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my answer at the end in radical form from the rational. So, so the problem is, yes, you, if you're looking at it that way, like for instance, Let's pretend this was, let me just write it like this. If this was 3 squared times 3 to the 1 third power, if you um, are 1 half, let's, let's do 2 thirds and 1 third. If you had a problem like this, do you guys see how these denominators are the same? If you were to rewrite that in radical form, it would be the cube root of 3 squared times the cube root of 3 to the first power. If you guys remember from last class period, what we talked about was when their radicals have the same root, you multiply, right? So this would be the cube root of 3 cubed. However, in this example, the roots are not the same. So we can't do anything with this. So if you rewrite them as a radical initially, you're going to come, come to a dead end. However, if we look at them just saying, hey, these are just two exponents with the same base. I'm going to add the powers. Then I end up coming up with 9 twelfths plus um, 5, so 9 twelfths plus 5 twelfths, which ends up giving us 3 to the 14 twelfths. Right? Oh, 4 twelfths, thank you. I don't know where I can. So it becomes over to the 13 twelfths. Now, can I rewrite this as a radical expression? Yes. So now I would rewrite this as a radical expression, which is the 12th root of 3 to the 13th power. And that is going to be your final answer. I might have, I'll make sure maybe I clarify my instructions for the next problem.